How you doing, everybody? I'm from Hialeah. Who else is from Hialeah? Yeah, you guys showed up late, so I know you're from Hialeah. I almost didn't show up. I went to the dentist yesterday, and after they poked and prodded the shit out of me, it was just really fun. But what I get is that I go to the dentist, and it's like, the lady's there, she's like showing me stuff. I was like, come on, we have to take an x-ray. And shit comes out of the wall. And it's a machine, and it's like, takes an x-ray, it's like Iron Man and shit. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. Oh, we need to do this. And it's like another machine comes out of the wall, that is awesome. Oh, great. It's like, all right, now we have to extract the tooth. I'm like, all right. Fucking hammer and nails and just fucking beating the shit out of me. I'm like, what the fuck? Why? Like, why is this like, where's the laser shit? No, they don't give a fuck. They just hammer the shit out of your teeth, pull it out. Okay, está bien, okay, okay, está bien. Okay, and they just walk you outside, and you're like, they're waiting for the Uber while you're bleeding out of your mouth. That's really great. Oh, what else happened? Fucking Chris Pratt got married. Who the fuck knows about that? Um, like Kathleen Schwarzenegger, Arnold Schwarzenegger's oldest daughter. The fucking Terminator is your stepdad. You know how bad that shit is? You know, one night she just comes in like, Daddy, he was so mean. Dun, 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 dun. But the one eye just turns red, he still has a motorcycle in the garage and shit. Takes it out, fucking drives out. Of course, I'm such a fucking nerd that, you know, I started saying like, oh, well, then he'll turn into Star-Lord, and then he'll start shooting shit out of it. And it'll be awesome. Uh, that's a great fucking book, Star-Lord against everything. What else? Uh, yeah. I'm recently single. I've been like a uh, 13-year relationship. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm out of Shawshank, woo! Um, and so because of that, once you get into the new world and you're like in there, you have to do all the shit that all your single friends told you for years. And you're like, oh shit, I can get on Tinder, I can get on Bumble, Go Fish, whatever the fuck. I mean, whatever you can, and you're just like, oh, cool. Like, all right, talk to this girl. Hey, who are you? You're in your interest. Okay, cool. Oh, you're Nathan? Oh, that's nice. Okay, great. And then it's like, oh, that's your asshole. And that's a picture of tits. And okay, all right, you want to get a Frappuccino? Like, you don't know what to do after a while. You're like, all right. Everybody's just giving away, like, just pictures of the. And then you have to figure out how to do, like, a dick pic. And you're just like, like looking at the light, like, all right, like, let me get the shine, let me get under, if they get a lens, all right, like, just look like a monolith that way, if I get the light, just the right angle. Then the reality hits, and you actually go out with the girl, and she's like, it doesn't look like the same as the picture. That was a stunt double. That was a whole other guy. What else? Uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's just one of the part of the things with the spin, like, when, once you start dating again, and you start seeing people, it's also introducing yourself to new sets, because you have the familiar sets. Like, once you've been with somebody for 13 years, you know, like, eh, eh, and then that's it. But once you were somebody new, you don't know the ant eh, man. Eh. It could be this way, it could be that way, I don't know. You want me to slap the ass? No, don't slap the ass. Okay, I won't slap the ass. How about a jiggle the titty? Jiggle the titty? No. Pinch the titty? Okay. That's all you got. I said, all right, I'll just do that. And you have to learn a whole new routine, and it's not easy to learn a whole routine. And then there's other times you're like there, and they're like, the one thing I had to get used to is the spitting on the dick. That was a whole new thing to me. Just like when they're like that, like, cool. Like, what the, what the fuck is, it looks like a hostage situation. Like, I'll never tell you where the secret base is. Cool. <laughs> that, you know, I'm like, I don't even know. Like, what the hell's going on? And you just go along with it. But in the end, it's one of those things that you start learning about other people and where they're coming from and what's going on. And then you see everybody's fucking problems. And there are things, and nothing better than that girl's like, well, I'm divorced from this guy, but he's like just in prison for a little bit. He just murdered one guy. You know, he, he might get out soon, but I'm like, I want to see other people. You're like, no. <laughs> Jimmy, the fuck out of here. I don't want to be here. What else? Uh, other than that, I mean, it's, it's great to be out of there and be in free and be running around and learning new things and talking to people and everything else. But, Again, like sometimes it's like, all right, I was with a Venezuelan woman for many years. Who's Venezuelan here? That one guy who's like, yeah. All right. You know why people ran from your country? It's not because of communism. It's because of the women. All right. Or you know, 
because of other things. <laughs> no, but it's really hard, man, because you start like you know dating other people, and you start figuring out what they're doing and how they're. And I'm just a fossil. I'm like one of these animals that just got let out of the zoo, and they never talk about that guy. They always like let him out. Like look at Bobo. Look at him. He's just going. He's just happy, and he just goes off into the woods, and he's just a happy guy. They don't check three hours later when he comes out of the woods and be like, what the fuck is this shit? They're all fucking crazy back there. They're like eating their own shit. They're eating shit off the tree. I had three meals a day. I had a tire swing. Everything was fucking awesome. And now I'm here. I don't want to be here. I want to be back there. No one's there to check on them. They just say, fuck it, and they just let it ride. And that's where I'm at right now. But, you know, I mean, that's part of life. And you just start learning from it, and you just say, all right, this is what's going on. And... Then I said, hey, I'm gonna get on stage and I'm just gonna tell jokes because my ex told me not to. 